Well, a love story has been banned from Israeli schools. It's not Fifty Shades of Grey. It's a romance between a Jewish woman and a Palestinian man who meet in New York. And it was removed by the right-wing government to avoid encouraging mixed relationships and has sparked debate about censorship. In an area where division is part of daily life, Jews and Arabs are showing love has no boundaries. <laughs> These Tel Aviv liberals, friends, couples and strangers are locking lips, coming together for a passionate embrace to say they refuse to be enemies. It's a play on the strangers' first kiss ad that went viral. And it's in protest to the Israeli Ministry of Education banning the book Border Life from Israel's high school curriculum. As a storyteller, I perceive undercurrents which are within the daily Israeli existence. And my instincts are those of a storyteller. My subconscious is telling the story. I don't write pamphlets. I don't work for any party's campaign. The decision was made over concerns the narrative would entice intermarriage between Jews and non-Jews, considered a threat to the Jewish way of life. The controversy has resulted in the Romeo and Juliet love story flying off the shelves. It was an expression of confidence in the Israeli democracy and refusing the idea that books will be banned. It transferred from a literary discussion into a civil debate. And the author is receiving calls from Hollywood about a possible movie deal. Spoiler, ironically, the two end up separating when they move back to the Holy Land. The Time Out protest video has received more than 300,000 views online. Even if... Uh they don't like this love story, we can uh, give it another twist and uh, show a love story of our own combining Jews and Arabs and show that we still can live together in this, uh, this country. And it's not the first time that couples in the region have spoken out against a racial and religious divide. In 2014, Jews and Arabs refused to be enemies trended on social media. But will there be a happy ending to this love story? For now, it appears the Israeli government won't be backing down. Stephanie Bolchi, ABC News.